not just um, the military occupation we live under in Palestine, but it's also a greater political system and economic system in the world that is causing us to be slaves to uh, agribusiness companies, to um, multinationals that want to dump uh, their terrible food on us. The Seed Library really uh, is an attempt to collect uh, and to learn from and to preserve the knowledge of our ancestors who left us with something uh, quite amazing. Many of these uh, heirloom varieties are actually uh, what we call bail, they're rain-fed. So we have summer varieties that uh, grow uh, and live off of the moisture that is retained in the soil. But we also have varieties uh, in the winters that actually live off of the rain in the rainy season. I think a lot of um, the challenges we face today as a human species is that we stop trusting nature and started to want to control nature and it obviously resulted in us destroying ourselves. So I like heirloom varieties. I like heirloom varieties because they're autonomous, because they were developed for our microclimate, because through them uh, we can truly be uh, sovereign. Uh, I don't have to buy seeds from anybody. Every year I can produce my own seeds. If people stop being able to produce their own food and then we become entirely dependent on other people, uh, other places to eat, then we really lose our sense of autonomy. It's not just about uh, being autonomous, it's also about being a community that values itself. You know, in the Hessian, I feel myself cut from everything uh, and having a bit of some plants to take care of it is like, wow. Uh, and if you have something to put on the table from it, it is a big bonus, of course. Water shortages are uh, quite, you know, uh, hard to manage. Uh, the water is more or less uh, coming uh, every 10 days uh, for 24 hours, sometimes less. But we managed to somehow uh, build it from a few pots to more and more and more. And now there is even a greenhouse here. It is very, very therapeutic, uh, therapeutic to just to look at them, how they are growing. Uh, of course, uh, it is very nice to have something to put on the table also, uh, even if it is just a bit of uh, mint in your salad. Nowadays, uh, the commercial uh, produce that you can buy it is so full of chemicals that it is like it is more poisoning you than, than it is nourishing you. This is Palestine, this is refugee camp. Come on, there are soldiers shooting uh, almost every, every night. night. They are coming and they are they're shooting and gas bombs are flying everywhere. Uh, now our rooftop is quite high, uh, but I'm always on 
just like nervous that they're going to tear uh, the greenhouse. Um, it is going to be a disaster, I think. <laughs> if you have even brown thumb, it is not needed to be green thumb. Plant something, plant anything, even if it is one poor little pot on your balcony or on your windowsill or whatever. Um, plant it. Maybe it is going to go well. Maybe it is going to just wither and die. Never mind, try again. So.